Hey there, Internet. My name is Jay, and for whatever reason, I can't seem to go six months without getting myself into some small form of an accident. I tend to call them baby accidents. Basically, an accident where no one goes to the hospital and you don't need to change insurance information with somebody. You just get to have an awkward, glancing look of pain and terror as someone hits something, and usually it's me, and yesterday it was a lamppost. Let me set the scene for you. A poorly placed nap, I wake up five minutes already late to work, and of course I'm not the kind of person who likes to drive. I believe in exercise sometimes, and I'm gonna go bike to work that day. I hop on my bike, I'm pedaling as fast as I can, and as I cross the largest expanse between two sidewalks that I can, someone's not paying attention in their car. Maybe they're texting, maybe they're eating, maybe they're shaving. I don't even know. I don't wear my my glasses when I bike. They come careening in towards me. Now, I'm moving so quickly, I don't really have the option to stop. Of course, there is an option with a bike to stop, but if I did that, I'd go right over my handlebars. So instead, bouncing over the, mm, I guess, edge of the sidewalk, directly into a lamppost, in which case my chain rips itself from my bike, I collapse on the floor, and I look painfully and annoyedly as the car just keeps driving down the wrong lane of traffic. And it's bad too, because this stuff happens to me very commonly. I just... Uh, I always seem to be getting myself hurt or injured or in a situation where I'm going to be hurt or injured. I, I don't know why. A part of me just wants to blame everybody else because they're usually the ones destroying my life, but I'm the one it keeps happening to. So... Uh, there's gotta be something in my brain or like my body that's secretly a magnet for cataclysmic events. But it's cool. I mean, growing up, I popped the chains out of my bike all the time, so I knew what to do. I just pinched the hell out of my finger yesterday, and that really still hurts. I mean, I love having all my fun stories to tell, and yes, I can add this one to my list as well now, but how many times having, you know, another car incident before I'm just out of car incident stories to have? I... Uh, let's share stories, everybody. Campfire stories time. 15 times around, I'm still talking about car injuries. That's awesome. Can't we, I don't know, mix it up or have something else? Can I have a positive story for once? How about that? How about I get to have a day where it's just like, guys, I have a great story for you. Everything went beautifully and the world was perfect and I fixed all the diseases in the world. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any fun baby accident stories of your own, I'd love to hear them. If anything, just to know other people have baby accidents as well, and it's not just me. If you subscribe to the channel, you can see all the fun things we'll talk about next, and if you like the video, I'll feel special in my heart places. So, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.